The Incredible Hulk, Iron Man, Thor, and Captain America. In the past years, we've seen all these Marvel superhero characters make their big screen debut to big box office successes. And now, for the first time this year, all of these superheroes and more join forces together to, once again, save the world. And I was very fortunate enough to get to attend one of the Facebook fan screenings this past weekend in IMAX 3D. So let's get started. So the movie starts where we left off with at Captain America. For now, S.H.I.E.L.D. has hold of the Tesseract Cube, and just as they're beginning to figure out its powers, Thor's evil brother, Loki, comes in and steals it. So, the S.H.I.E.L.D. organization initiates the Avengers, which brings the forces of Iron Man, Thor, Captain America, the Incredible Hulk together to try to stop this evil bad guy. So, how does this movie turn out? I'll tell you, it was kick-ass. I mean, we've never really seen a live-action movie superhero film like this anywhere. It has all the ingredients of the other Marvel movies. It has um, some kick-ass superheroes, uh, big action sequences that really just take you in, some badass villains too, and great banter and humor, and some surprises as well. I mean, just in the post credit sequence, I'm not going to give anything away, I'm not going to do spoiler vision for this, but you have to stay for the post credit scene, you're going to be really surprised. I know I was. If I really had anything to complain about, I mean, for me it felt it had a bit of a slow start with, with just getting all the superheroes together to, um, you know, join forces, but... I mean, it does start off strong with the uh, Loki coming in to cause trouble at the S.H.I.E.L.D. organization. But that's my only complaint about the, um, the movie, really, just so star bit. Really, because I'm always a sucker for uh, superhero movies. I, uh, I've enjoyed almost everyone I've seen, save for Spider-Man 3. But then again, that's why they're having a kind of reboot with The Amazing Spider-Man this summer. So... But what I like also about the Avengers is how it brings all the smaller characters in from the other movies together. So it's such a great kind of crossover movie between worlds because it's all these superheroes in one, just in one world joining together. It's unlike anything we've ever seen in uh, movies before. Superhero movies, that is to say. Now if you plan on seeing the Avengers, the ultimate way to do it is to see it in IMAX 3D. Uh, it's really the most immersive experience you can get for a superhero movie. And the 3D was incredible, and the audience was just getting a kick out of it, and it's the ultimate way to go. <laughs> of course, try not to get see it behind someone who always plans on talking throughout the movie. It's it can end deadly. I just can't. You did that? Oh, yeah, so cool. I can't believe I'm here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So that's what I have to say about the Avengers. Um, I'm not going to say that's the ultimate superhero movie for the summer because we still have two more to expect. We have The Amazing Spider-Man and, of course, the final Batman film, uh, The Dark Knight Rising, to end the trilogy. So I'm not, it's really too soon to tell. But The Avengers was pretty awesome and a great way to start off the summer films. Um, so that's all I have to say. Um, I'm going to try to do a kind of summer prediction kind of movie for all the summer movies coming out this summer. So hopefully I'll have that up soon. But in the meantime, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and check out my channel uh, for other videos and movie reviews I've done. And until then... I'm going to assemble right here in my living room, Flash Home Theater. Buttons right there. <laughs>